Okay, here's another invasive, and it's fighting it out with the teasel and the phragmites. This is Canada thistle, and it will show up in your gardens from time to time. And it's invasive in that it crowds out the, the natives and has all that bad stuff associated with it. It spreads by seed. Here's the seed head, and over here, it blows around in the breeze and can go, travel quite a distance. But, and the flower is over here on this side, uh, so you can recognize it. But mostly, it's, once it gets one plant established, it spreads by root or rhizomes. Uh, so probably all, we're standing in a little patch here of 100 or so plants, and it's probably all one plant. The roots are down deep, you, you, so pulling these things up will weaken the plant a little bit, but to get rid of it, you really have to use herbicide to get, that'll travel down into the roots and kill the, the whole clone. Uh, it is just a, a, a nasty plant. Uh, most people recognize it as a weed. They don't want it in their, in their garden or their yard, but out here in, in that more natural areas, it, it's, a, it's really bad news. <laughs> Glenview has a terrific heritage, and much of it is because of the natural resources we enjoy. The reason we have an ordinance to protect our land is so that others don't suffer from these seeds, which can take over and ruin the quality of life and the economic benefits that we get from having a good green infrastructure. When we have areas that are healthy, we have a great quality of life we can enjoy for recreational purposes and for science and learning with our family. If we all take care of our properties by complying with the ordinances on invasive species, we'll have a better community overall.